Hello, Art One Two, and welcome to your lips demonstration. And then at the end, I'll do um, the second set of lips with teeth. And then I am going to probably make a separate video for braces. I need to get a picture of braces to look at. Um, and I think a few of you have mentioned, like, hey, what about braces? Oh, it's really easy. I'll probably put braces on him, but I'll look at a picture of braces to, to be able to add that. All right. <clears throat> lips. So in, um, again, in Google Classroom, there are notes for lips and teeth. And so the first thing I do is kind of redefine the mouth after all that blending and shading. And I'm going to go with the mechanical pencil, and I'm going to add in the line that separates the two lips. And I'm kind of looking for, like, like it kind of curves up slightly, so she has, like, a little bit of a thicker line. And then it kind of comes down a little, and then she's slightly smiling, so she has a little bit of a indentation here that kind of curves up and curves down. Okay, this side is a little more slight over here. I'm kind of like scribbling a little blob of graphite right, right in there. Like that needs to arch up just a little bit to make it look like she's <laughs> not frowning. All right, then I look at which lip is darker. Most of the time, your top lip is going to be darker because of the angle that it's at. It catches less light. So um, her top, and then I also look at how much darker or lighter are the lips compared to the skin. So for this one, her lips are slightly darker than the skin at top and slightly darker on the edges, but in the middle, it's almost the same tone as the skin. Okay, different viewpoint of that same first one. So top lip is darker, but I noticed how like, whoa, it's almost the value of the skin, except for the highlight that she's catching on the side for that top lip. Uh, for his, I look at how his top lip is darker than bottom, but also it's darker on the right-hand side compared to the left. Um, and in general, um, the lip is darker, his lips in general are darker than the skin that it's next to. So take a look at that. So for the top lip where it's slightly darker, I'm gonna add just a little bit of 6B where it's kind of fading up from the line. And then if, okay, so then over here, she does have a little bit of like an indentation. All right, so since her bottom lip is lighter than the skin tone, I'm gonna switch in, I don't want a, a ton of value, so I'm gonna use the old school wooden pencil. And I'm gonna go back over what I have for 6B, and I'm going to, I don't wanna totally outline, but I'm gonna get like a cleaner kind of edge. And then I'll pull out the highlight at the end. So I'm double checking my contour outline in case it's changed with all of my shading. So match that line and fade it in if you do have an outline. Bottom lip, shading for form a little bit. So it's slightly darker along here, but I'm adding very little because in general that lip is lighter than um, her skin. Okay, so she has a little bit of shadow at the top of this lip, top of the bottom lip, a little bit of shadow fading out from that line. Okay, and this piece over here. And it's darker along this edge. Okay, then you might have to look in the mirror for this. Actually, let me go a little bit darker over here. So with mechanical pencil, or wooden pencil is fine. I just wouldn't use shading pencil. You want to look in the mirror and kind of tilt your head in the same viewpoint, and you're going to look for little lip wrinkles on your lips and so this is really what makes your lips look curved 
So in the center, if, she, if you're facing forward, they would be like kind of straight. And then you can kind of, she has, hers are subtle. So you're gonna look, I'm not pressing very hard. I'm just putting guidelines in. So when you get to the outer corner, they curve more. And I look for any darker ones and put them kind of in there. So she has subtle lip wrinkles there. Her top lip, not as many, but it kind of curves up. Up there, I look on either side of that center point. Actually, she has a couple. A couple in there. Okay, so for like her lips, I can really see how they curve right there and like curve over there. And I just see like a couple in the top lip. Obviously you have a little bit more um, in the bottom lip. Okay, so then with the small blender, I'm going to go over the line. Okay. I'm going to blend over the wrinkles that I just added. I kind of touch blend over them to soften because you're not old. Okay, so then I'm gonna gently blend her form. And we'll be erasing out, so don't worry if you're like, oh no, they're too dark, it looks like I'm wearing lipstick when I'm not. Don't worry about it, just yet. We'll adjust. Yeah, because her lips are definitely darker than they are in the picture right now. Okay. All right, then with a um, kneaded eraser, I'm gonna kind of make it pointy. I'm gonna pull back out where my highlights are. So I'm gonna kind of make it liney. So usually in the center of the bottom lip, you'll get some light or center-ish. So I'm making it pointy. And I'm, go I'm gonna draw in some wrinkles that curve. Okay, here she's picking up some reflected light. I'm going to, just so I don't lose this edge, I'll pull back out. Hmm, that's really not erasing. All right, let me use mechanical. Well, maybe I just need to clean it. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, that's too low. All right, let me get, let me use mechanical pencil then. blend up to that edge so she has that subtle kind of highlight along the edge I feel like yeah I'm gonna keep that okay so then um, I'm going to kind of touch blend back over my wrinkles make sure I have a smooth Blend, all right. Um, mechanical pencil again. I'm gonna go back over my wrinkle parts. Definitely look in the mirror if you can't see your wrinkles in your picture. Oftentimes your wrinkles are so small um, at your age that the camera really does not pick that up. Okay, I have a little bit of a sh more of a shadow over here. And add that. That line. And the darker edge fading underneath. 
So I'm starting to kind of refine the skin around it too. I'll fade into what I have. Okay, I feel like over here she has a little bit of a darker. Ever so slight. Let's look at the value underneath your lip, the side of each part of the lip. I'm going to touch blend over. Okay, yeah, that does connect to the finger. And I'm just noticing this bottom lip is a little bit darker on the right hand side. I'm going to touch blend over my wrinkles. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and go over the center line again. And for some of you it's like a really definite line. For hers it's a little it's definite in the shadow parts, but it's a little softer, especially like in the corners of her mouth. Okay, go a little bit darker over here. I'm just gonna do a once over, just kind of blend that in a little bit. Okay, so then I feel like I need to lighten that bottom lip, but also I need to bring back the highlights. So if you if your lips are big enough to where you can use the um, pencil or the mechanical pencil eraser, I would recommend that. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to touch, kind of blend where the high or touch erase where the highlights are. Okay, it's just a little bit of reflected light there. Then I'm going to switch to kneaded eraser because I feel like um, the lip on the uh, left side is a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to kind of lift off a layer. I do have a darker edge along my finger that I didn't, I'm not fading up into the lip that I didn't have, like the shadow between the two parts. looking for highlight so like her highlights a little more pointy over here so I pinched my kneaded eraser out the highlight up top. I like this kind of fades into her skin. Okay. I'm comparing. So is it lighter? Is the top look darker? Do I have highlights in there? Can I see the little wrinkles help create form? Do they curve on the outside? And for the top lip, do they kind of curve up a little bit? So that's what I'm gonna look for in the next mouth as well. So if your mouth is open, I'm do the next one, and then teeth will be last. So if you're like, yeah, my lips are good, like those lips are good to show me how to do mine, great. And then fast forward ahead to teeth. Or maybe you have fast forwarded to this point. I'm going to do his lips first just in case um, your lips are not as full and don't have as extreme highlights. <laughs> I'm going to use old school wooden pencil because again I don't want his lips to get too dark. Excuse me. But 
I am kind of noticing that they're darker on this side. Darker along the bottom here. So I'm gonna match that line, kind of fade it in. It definitely gets really dark on the edge of that tooth. So the lip kind of fades into the tooth right there. Okay, over here, still pretty dark. Well, darker than the skin, but it's lighter on this side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a little bit of pencil, and then here it kind of blends in with the skin. So I'm just gonna use the blender to do that. Okay, this side, so I have that darker shadow under. Okay, so I feel like the shadow kind of comes down a little bit more. Then it fades out and the lip gets lighter. So I'm gonna add a little bit of value for form. Okay, along this side. It's darker and kind of like fades down a little bit. And it's darker where they meet. Okay, slightly darker on this edge, and then it fades like right there into the skin. Okay, so I didn't put a lot of value because obviously your blender has a lot of value already on there. At this point, it does. So I'm going to use that to help create the rest of the, the tongue. I'm just going to kind of fade that into the mouth because that shadow part disappears and we'll come back into the mouth towards the end. So while I'm here, I'm going to check like how that uh, highlight on the side isn't as light, but it is when it gets to like the top curve of the lip there. So I'll fade that out a little bit. I'm just using my blender to draw the edge of the, the bottom lip. I might have to lighten that up a little bit. We'll see. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I do feel like this part is a little bit darker. So I'm going to use a little touch of 6B. I feel like it kind of curves on the bottom a little. These... His lips are weird. I've drawn this this portrait before because he cracks me up and he has a funny kid. Um, and he has everything. Tape, glasses, you know, folds of skin, subtle highlights on the nose. It has everything. So I, I kind of use this one a couple. I've used this one a couple of times. Um, and the lips are always weird. Like the way they're stretched. Okay, so then his lip wrinkles are super subtle. I can barely see them. But of course, if he were here, I'd have him look in the mirror. But since his face is stretched, like you can kind of see like more of like the curvature of them. So I'm not pressing very hard because I want it to look subtle. 
and not like lines on his lips. Or harsh lines, I should say. We do want it to have lines on his lips. So I'm looking at how like over here, they kind of curve even more up from the bottom. Oh, that's hard for you guys to see. I don't know, can you see that? Curving up from the bottom. I got like a thing that blocks the light over here. Okay, top lip, very few, because his mouth is like stretching. And while I'm here, actually, I'm gonna add this darker shadow. Okay, so then with Small Blender, I'm gonna touch blend over the wrinkles. Oh, that's why it looks weird. The skin needs to come up. Hold on. I was wondering why this looks so strange over here. I'm gonna bring the skin in. I'm gonna match that outline. up that edge of the cheek too. I like a little bit of a fold of skin that's super subtle right there so I just drew it in with my um, blender. Okay. Needed an eraser. Clean it. Stretch. Clean. Stretch. Clean. Make it pointy. Kind of make it into a clone and then smash it. I'm gonna go back and pull back out his highlights and some curved lighter wrinkles. So you have to keep pinching your kneaded eraser. I do like a couple, like one, two, three, four, maybe pinch again. Oh, I need it. I'm gonna pull back out. Can you just kind of tap in like that center part? I look for highlights that hit the center part of the lip. I feel like this look got a little too dark over here anyway, especially like along the edge where it faded into the skin. I'm gonna pull away a little. Kind of gently blend over that, and then I'm gonna gently kind of blend over just to soften because his lips are super subtle. And I'm going to come back and pull back out the highlight again. And then I'm going to erase out. I think that's fine over there. We'll see what it looks like next to the cheek. Okay, so his lips are done. Now we're ready for teeth. So if you don't have teeth showing, you're done for today. All right, teeth showing. Um, you're gonna do teeth off padding. And um, just probably a wooden pencil, mechanical pencil, the two size blenders. Uh, you don't really need this. Uh, well, maybe a little bit for the gums. We'll see. Okay, so the first thing I look for is can you see the gums above the teeth? And so for him, yes, you can. And then I look at what's darker, the lips or the gums. For him, actually, there's more of a shadow. There is a shadow. Actually, I'll put that in. Hold on. So the gums are actually lighter. So therefore, and I'm also looking for in the corners of the mouth where you have more shadow happening. So I'm going to go and draw the top of the teeth with my blender. 
paying really close attention to the shape of the contour line. So putting that in. I wonder if I can zoom in anymore. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to fold this so I can have a smaller piece underneath my hand. Never fixed. Never fixed that one. Okay, so this side is in shadow on the right, so therefore I'm gonna go a little bit darker. I'm actually gonna switch blenders. Then I'm gonna gently kind of blend over. So you're drawing in the top of the teeth with the blender and the gums at the same time. Okay, then over here, there's a little bit of a shadow. I'm gonna put it in with mechanical pencil. Move down a little. This kind of overlaps anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit darker. On the gums. All right, so then if you need to erase out to redefine the edge, you can. I mean, we're gonna add value to them anyway, but I would clean them out at this point, clean them off. Okay, so then, um, with, the pen with the regular pencil, I'm gonna gently Put the lines in between so it's not very heavy or dark for the most point unless you have like an actual shadow happening and then over here it's a little bit darker because that tooth is definitely in shadow okay. then with small blender I'm gonna touch blend over those divisions then I'm going to um, add shadow so the the whole side of his mouth over there is a little bit more in shadow so super gently I'm gonna blend over but even over here I'm gonna give it a little bit of a like tone it down so it doesn't look like white horse teeth then over here it's a little more shadow especially on that one Okay, <clears throat> super gently with regular pencil, I'm going to, I don't want to outline them, but I want to try to refine that edge. That's a little more pointy there. So with the least amount of pressure possible, actually I feel like that tooth comes out a little bit. Over here, I can use a little more pressure because it is darker over here. I'm just going to kind of touch blend that a little bit to soften that edge. Okay, then with mechanical pencil eraser, I'm going to look at where's the light hitting and I'm going to erase out. So the light's coming from the left, so therefore. This is super subtle, like along the left side, I'm going to erase out. Or if there's actual shiny parts you can see on the teeth. And then he has like some highlights that will just tap out. So they're not, oh, that's hard to see. That is super subtle. I can't even zoom in a little. Yeah, that's hard for you guys to see. I can see it. Okay, so then with a the small blender, I'm going to go back and put like a little bit of shadow on the shadow side. And put in some detail onto the teeth. Okay, 
Now for, um, actually for bottom teeth real fast. So his are a little less defined. I'm just going to draw, actually there is one in there. Um, I didn't see that before. Okay. I'm going to kind of draw the indentations in the gums, or sorry, in the molars. over that tooth, and over the side of that one. Okay, now we're ready for refining um, teeth and inside of mouth. Okay, so pay really close attention because this is really what makes it look like your teeth. Look at how this one's flat on the bottom, and then it kind of squares up and curves over on this side. It's down a little, flattens, comes up, and then it's like a darker shadow on that side. I'll shift a little bit into that as well. Okay, so I'm looking at the length of that one, so I feel like this one needs to come up a little bit. So does this one. Okay, so I just refine that. So I'm going to try not to touch the teeth again. kind of fade down so that when I blend I don't have to touch the edge. So I'm paying super close attention to like the darker contour shadow line that then creates creates the edge of your teeth. Okay. So then looking for where else do I have shadow? So on this side, he has shadow coming down. So I'm just going to do this with mechanical because it's such a small area. And I don't want it to be super smudgy because I want it to stay kind of where I put the value. So I'm going to use mechanical. He has this like shadowy curve. Fades over. The tongue I will actually probably use some value, um, some like 6B, because it's a little bit bigger. So I'm refining this side of the mouth. Okay, so now I'm getting into some teeth in here, but barely. So bottom teeth. I'm just gently kind of yeah, like a definite curve. And then gently go over that too. Back in there. Okay, so looking at this curvature of the tongue. Okay. Use a little 
6 B. Okay, so I'm going to value map this out a little bit. And so there's that, there's like that curve, and then darker value in there. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me fade up along this edge. Hmm. Long message too. And his bottom teeth, like, they don't really have lines in them. I, it's hard to tell uh, the detail in those, so I'm just kind of leaving it as a value. Okay, I'm just going to match this value. Kind of fade it down. Blender is going to do the rest. I'm going to use small blender, getting close to the edge of the teeth, but not actually touching the edge. That way, they're refined. I don't have to touch them again. Okay, same at the bottom. switch blenders because it's kind of a larger area. have some little specks of highlight shininess on the tongue. So let me try to get this a little bit better. That might just be... Okay, so I do feel like I need to do another layer back in here. I'm just going to use mechanical and kind of fade out and then blend the edge. All right, that pushes it back a little bit. Okay. Okay, little specks of light on his tongue. So I'm just gonna kind of tap so your tongue has texture. And with my small blender, touch, blend in the teeth. So I still feel like those aren't super, super white, white, white. I'm gonna dull those down just slightly. All right, let me double check his teeth from further away. Okay, I feel like these are the same. So there's teeth, an open mouth, and more subtle lips for you. Biggest thing is that your teeth aren't straight up white unless it's the shiny parts. And I look at what side of the light um, are the shiny parts kind of hitting and use mechanical eraser for that. But your teeth should it be straight up white because really the only white is the super shiny parts in the eyes. Okay, maybe some shiny parts on your lips highlights, etc. I will see you in the next video.